Hey there, and welcome back to Betsy Miller's Garden. We are here in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are touring, seeing everything that's happened over the last few months. For reference, we planted this for the cool season in March, and then we came back in May to plant for the warm season. Here's what's growing and what's happening. First, we have tons of sweet basil. This is all starting to go to seed. We're going to cut this back a little bit today, but you can see just how prolific one plant of basil really can be. It's crazy. We've got all of these peppers that are ready to harvest. See all these hot peppers here on the plant. And then we have all of these onions that are getting very close to being ready to pull and harvest. We planted these all the way back in March with little bitty onion starts. It's wild to see how much they've grown since then. Here on the inside, we have some squash. It looks like it's just about finishing up for the season. We got some nice powdery mildew. Squash likes to give us lots of problems. You know what I mean? We've got this parsley that is going to seed and bringing all the swallowtail butterflies to this garden. And then we've got some calendula here on the edge, also finishing up. Here in this back bed, we've got carrots that we planted from seed. Uh, we're gonna test out some of these today and see if they're ready to harvest. They look like they've kind of a little worse for the wear for the heat of the summer, but might be ready to harvest today. We've got tomatoes here on the arch trellis. We've got these midnight snack, which are a cherry tomato. We've got these uh, beautiful plum tomatoes and also some, uh, some sun golds. Those are on this side as well. You can see the sun golds, the midnight snack. They are just about to reach the top of the trellis, which is pretty exciting. All right, down here we have this towering basil, which is so prolific and crazy, so big with growth. And then look at these eggplants that we have in here. They are just popping off. We're getting like three or four per plant. We've got some oregano that's going to flower. And then we have a zucchini, which has been producing all summer and still has a few more fruit left in its life. On this side, we have the, oh my gosh, squash that happens in the middle of summer where your zucchini gets a little too big. Uh, then we have all these tomatoes growing on this obelisk trellis. These large tomatoes are doing so well and just really, really taking off on the trellis. We have another one I wanna show you that's right here. This tomato is packed with fruit. Look at all this fruit on this one tomato plant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I mean, it is packed with fruit. It is amazing. And it's just being supported by, by this one tiny little trellis. We've got some more eggplant in here. Then we have one more bed I wanna show you. So this one is packed with zucchini as well. You can see all these zucchini growing on this plant. It is wild that we planted these uh, so small two months ago. Then we have another really prolific, huge fruiting tomato here. We've got some more peppers and then we've got my favorite basil here on the edge of the bed. This one is perfect for pollinators. It's called African blue basil. And then we have all of these peppers growing as well. So this kitchen garden is what I like to call the formal potage design. It's four L-shaped beds, and you can see just how much you can pack into a kitchen garden this size, uh, but really how much you can pack just in one little corner of a bed to get loads of production using the Gardenary Intensive Planting Method. I hope this inspires you for what's possible in your own garden space. Now we're gonna grab the scissors and start harvesting. 